Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Monday, January 23rd. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time Durant run. Super Bowl is set. Let's start in the NFC Championship game at CG Technology in Penny. Atlanta was high as six and a half. They thumped the Packers. Game was over early. The huge fumble in the red zone by Green Bay. Also the Crosby miss and Green Bay couldn't get off the field on third down. Ryan carved them up. Ryan 53 of 75, 730 yards, seven touchdowns, no interceptions in the playoffs. 20 first downs in the first half for Atlanta. That was over, 24 0 at the half. Now, the game still goes over. It was a miracle. 41 points in the second half. You, the Julio Jones long touchdown right away. He had 180 yards. Sanu played well. But no one says uncle anymore. No one waves the white flag. You still, why do you want to get possibly hurt going into an offseason? Why is Rodgers still out there down all those points? <laughs> uh, Ripkowski fumbles again, and Quinn doesn't bother to challenge it. Give me a break. Obvious fumble as well, and somehow that gets over, though we could see that coming. We had the first half under uh, in that game. We just didn't want to get involved in the shenanigans, but amazing that that goes over. And, you know, good for the books. Green Bay goes down. Green Bay doesn't get the money. Green Bay, you rip up all the teasers, scoop them in. And Green Bay can't get the money in the second half as they were laying four in the second half as well. They only win by one. So Atlanta, total scoop Jackson there for the books in that one. And what a season. And I'll tell you, would, would, speaking of mulligans, would John Elway want a mulligan on Kyle Shanahan? How did he not hire him? Just say, okay, you're going to be our guy. We'll wait till you're knocked out of the playoffs, which they might win the whole damn thing. But Joe Fortenbaugh had a good tweet from the Bay Area. Shanahan should ask York for $10 million a year now. What's he going to do, go to Tom Cable? Give me a break. How did Jacksonville and Denver and all these teams pass on that guy? That's an offensive juggernaut. That's a freight train, that team, right now. And Dan Quinn with a good post game talking about they lost to Kansas City, made them more focused and prepared, and how every play counts, and they've been killing teams since that tough home loss against the Chiefs to the Patriots. And my God, Brady. Brady is seven, what is it, seven career games. Let me bring it up here. 22 touchdown passes, no interceptions in seven career games against Tomlin's defense. Steelers play in that zone D, no chance. Russian three, Brady just picked them apart. Hogan, huge. How about that? The Bills didn't offer the, didn't match the offer sheet the, offer sheet the Patriots gave them. Nine for 182 scores. Edelman at eight for 108 as well. And Tom carves them up with 384 and three touchdowns. Man, they asked Tomlin after the game if he's allergic to quarterback sneaks because he would not do it. That was huge before the end of the half when the Steelers had first and goal from the one and they had to settle for a field goal. And then the Patriots get a stop. They kick another field goal, get another stop. Blunt takes it in and they were off to the races in that one. Still don't know the confusion was contagious there on the Brady sneak where it looked like he fumbled. But I thought Nance had that wrong. I know a Steeler player came out of the scrum with the ball. But on the field, McCauley said he pointed to the Patriots. So this clear recovery business, I think Nance might have the wrong team because McCauley pointed Patriots ball, and then Tomlin lost, but in any event, it was a blowout. But seven Super Bowl appearance for Belichick and Brady, and we'll see if Tom can get it done again, and that would be one for the thumb. And New England three, as high as 59 the total, which is a Super Bowl record in Houston coming up in a couple weeks. What else do I have here? Uh, the Steelers blitzed Brady six times. He completed all six of those passes for 108 yards and the touchdown. The flea flicker was beautiful, beautiful ESPN stats and info. Hogan's 180 receiving yards, the most in a postseason game by an undrafted player, 36-17, to 17, and that gets over. Hermed was with an excellent point. You take out garbage time, one touchdown in two games for that Steelers offense. And certainly, you want to talk about a Scoop Jackson, all the bell props right into the drawer, as Vicaro would say. Just put all the tickets in the drawer when he went down early. He knew it on, the I think, the first or second carry, he said, felt he was hurting his team. And that was it for Bell, though uh, Williams gave him a spark, but too little, too late there. All right, one more, one more thing before uh, we move on here. How about the Lakers? Did you see this tweet from Bleacher Report? It's astonishing. And now I can't find it. Let me bring it up. Um, to, bear with me. I thought I wrote it down. January 22nd, 2006, Kobe scores 81. January 22, 2017, the Lakers score 73 points and suffer their largest margin of defeat in franchise history. They lose to the Mavs, who are 15 and 20, 29, 
15 and 29. They lose 122 to 73. Holy cow. And that thing was over in the second quarter. What a horrible performance out of the Lakers. I think we've covered just about everything. Totals, books, both games go over. How about the run for the favorites? Eight and two favorites in the playoffs. Can we get a good Super Bowl? Maybe it'll be like college football with the Bulls and the semis. We just get a great game to end it. But yikes. Two blowouts there. All right. Nothing's up really at pregame. Guys uh, getting ready for basketball in the NBA on Monday. But sleep, he's got a Super Bowl pick already up, locked and loaded. Get that up at pregame over my shoulder. Go get him sleepy as well. Uh, winner yesterday, Saint, uh, Saints. Falcons, Packers, first half under, 9-2. and two. Run and 13-4 and four in the NFL. Nothing today. Look for something Tuesday in hoops. As always, betting half of you on the free play. Sleepy likes. Uh, what did he take? He took the points. Read his full write-up and analysis. He got all the free picks up at pregame.com. Took the points in the Super Bowl. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. I went way too long, but uh, had a lot to get to. Talk to you Tuesday on pregame.com.